Hello friends, Miss Natalie here. Hello friends, Miss Natalie here. Today I wanted to show you how to import an image as a separate layer onto your Krita document and then also how to adjust the opacity of that layer. So the first thing that we do is we go up to where it says layer and click there and then we're going to find uh, import export there it is and then import layer and that will take you to your uh, files where you can um, find whatever image you want it could be a sketch it could be a photograph um, here I've got a photograph of Paris that I have downloaded um, and I'm going to use this as a my reference image so I need to make it larger, transform, big, and do I want it even bigger? Actually, I think, well, no, this is, this is, yep, this is uh, what I want. It's so hard to figure out what you actually want, but I think that's it. And with the Eiffel Tower in the center. All right, and now um, <clears throat> my idea is I'm gonna use this as a general guideline of like, okay, what does the Eiffel Tower look like? I could, of course, uh, do it by hand. Um, the Eiffel Tower is probably something that would be fairly easy to draw by hand, but maybe there's a something that like Mount Rushmore and you're like, oh my gosh, that's, that's so hard. I don't, I couldn't even begin to start. You can use this as kind of a guideline to get your general outlines where things are going to be, or, Hey, I have to draw a hand on this person and I hands, oi, you can like just take a photo of a hand and then you can you know do a little outline and then and then uh, use it as kind of a in in life reference image um so that's that's one of the wonderful things about digital art is that we can um use images that from other things and and expand on them um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my paint layer here and I'm going to put it on top of, I'm going to move it on top of my image layer <clears throat> so that when I draw, it'll be on top. And so that I can see my lines better, I'm going to click on my image layer that's called Paris, and I'm going to change the opacity. There's a couple ways you can do it. Um, the the roundabout way is to right click, go to properties, and then there's opacity there. Um, right here so I can change it how yep and you can see it's uh, more see-through or less see-through um, also but there's an opacity bar right up here so you don't even have to do all of that rigmarole however if you want to you know do some other properties at the same time like uh, blending mode uh, whether it's all these different things then yeah then 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 you could do it all in the same place but if you're just changing the opacity you can use the opacity bar here and then I can go to my paint layer I can choose um, I'm going to choose the polygon tool because I want to then um, I'm gonna, oh and the one cool thing is I could use the eyedropper eyedropper I don't know that's that's the color selector right and I want to select this color of the Eiffel Tower zooming in I want I want that color there all right because I'm gonna make my shape I'm gonna make a very basic shape here with my polygon tool now um, is the shape the Eiffel Tower. I could be doing this in a vector layer if I wanted it to be more manipulatable. Is that a word? I, I'm not sure that is actually a word. And I'm done with it, but for now I'm just kind of trying to go around. And where I started. All right, and tool options. 
I say fill it with the foreground color, it's afterwards. All right, but I've got a general Eiffel Tower shape and I can keep kind of going with that. And I'm going to actually keep going with that in another video um, that you can watch later. So uh, pull in some images as layers and uh, mess around the, with the opacity and go make some art.